So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Android phone is just not making any calls. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons, but the very first reason why this may end up happening is because your Android phone is either not connected to a cell network. So what you're going to want to do is just make sure that your particular cell network that you're connected to, you see it and you're able to go ahead and make it working. Most of the time, if you just swipe down from the very top, you should be able to see your serial number up here somewhere. So you should be able to see your particular network connection and all that. So make sure you're connected to a network. If you are on Wi-Fi, I'd recommend going on Wi-Fi and checking that out. And that's basically the main way to go and fix this problem. Now, for some reason that doesn't work, you may also just want to make sure that you are actually able to, you know, basically like type in a phone number. If you're able to type in a phone number and if you can verify that that phone number you're typing in is right, then that's probably okay and you probably won't have to deal with anything else from there. But sometimes your phone number you're typing in may not actually be working. So once again, just double check that phone number and that might be something else you may have to do. Now, if that's still not working, another thing you may wanna try doing is simply restarting your phone. So find out where you know your buttons are on your phone and go ahead and hold down the buttons to you know restart your device. So you can go and hold on both these or whatever it is, maybe not those ones, these ones. Restart your phone and that could very well end up fixing the problem. And I would probably argue that for a lot of people, as long as you can verify your cell network is working, your phone number is working and everything like that, by restarting your phone, that might end up fixing the problem there as well. Finally, if that's not working, you may have to try updating your phone. So make your way over to your settings application of your phone, swipe all the way down until you see your system panel right here. Just click into your system update panel right there, and then go ahead and update your phone. And that can be another thing that could probably end up fixing the problem for you. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.